the Kid Missing TV. I am your host, Angelina Wilson. This is the case of Sarah Ella, as she was called, Luella Snow. Obviously, <laughs> the fact that she went by Ella, part of her middle name, intrigued me because my mother's name, as you know, was Ella. Um, so, had to check this one out. <clears throat> she was last seen in Springville, Utah. On the 13th of September, 1953, she told her mother she was going to get some supplies to make dinner and never returned home. Her car and shoes were found at the mouth of Hobble Creek Canyon a few days later. She had, she was 33 years old. She had children. Her mother was looking after her children while she went to the grocery store. She had brown hair, brown eyes. She may use the surname Young, which was her married name. She was wearing a red and green plaid blouse, green slacks, white shoes. Um, she was five foot three and 103 to 125 pounds. <coughs> Um, they have no DNA, no fingerprints. There were search parties, but she was never found. Now, a relative of Sarah's actually wrote, or Ella's, as she liked to be called, actually wrote on a message board. Um, she said, that Sarah or Lua or Ella was a relative of hers. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize. <clears throat> My family has been working hard to investigate her case in the past few months, which is why it is now on Name Us. We have many documents that show this case is definitely not as straightforward as it seems, and I would like to share them in this forum because we need help finding her remains. What is the best way to share these documents? Um, now, at first they thought maybe she offed herself due to postpartum depression, but this person says they have a key suspect. Cause she, and she had recently had a baby. But that was ruled out as a reason for her disappearance, postpartum. Um, huh. Okay, there was a sighting of her supposedly on a on a bus in California by a bus driver. Um, and the family members said, thanks for asking. No, there was never any further pursuit of this sighting. My family has always felt like it was not a serious lead, but it was definitely used by police in town to dismiss her case by leaking to the press this idea. They never seemed to investigate the case after that point. Until 1993, decades later, when the FBI compelled local police to create a file for Ella, at which point officers interviewed her husband and son, as well as several family members on Ella's side, including her brother, a former sheriff from neighboring town, who worked the case for the first few days until Springville police ordered him off the mountain during the search. Um, he made casts of tracks at the site of her disappearance, which 
were three regular Jeep tires and one military grade Jeep tire, which matched those of her husband. <coughs> Uh. Okay, another young lady who, bo who actually did board a bus for LA um, was found. This is talking about a posse searching for a snackable article. I'm not going to read you the article, but I printed it out. Uh, okay, her son was 10. Her car was like buried in brush. So when her husband and son drove by, they didn't see it. She also had a new baby. Odd that she had a 10 year old and a new baby, yet the same husband. That's strange. There had to be other kids in between. Anyway, if you have any information in this case, you can call the Springville Police Department at 801-489-9421. That's 801-489-9421. Um, okay, a few ending thoughts here. First of all, her brother should not have been on the case. The casts he made cannot be used because he made them. And therefore, you can't say beyond a shadow of a doubt that they were made on the mountain, that he wasn't setting the husband up, all of these things that a lawyer for the husband would say. And we know the husband drove by and never saw the car. So, this is just my opinion, but I don't think in a court of law they... I think I can't talk. I don't think in a court of law they would be able to be used. I think they'd be thrown out because he is her brother and he should not have been on the case. <coughs> they did the right thing by sending him off the mount. So, and are, did these? Where are these castings? If he made them, so. Um, again, just my opinions. Uh, I'll see you next time here on Keep Missing TV. I hope that you'll join me. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications. Um, we're trying to get to 500 by Memorial Day. We can do this. We are at 232 at last check. Excuse me, and thank you for that. And thank you for our latest two subscribers that we've had recently um, as of filming. I can't remember their names. I'm sorry. Um, God bless you, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.